hey what's going on youtube back again with a new pickup video dropped by the states last week and picked up the air jordan 28 se this is the georgetown or winter camel colorway there's a couple names out there for this shoe and uh, let's get right into it this is an 11 and a half dark gray white wolf gray and midnight navy let's take a quick look at the shoes right here I originally wanted to pick up the UNC colorway, but this is my second option. They didn't have my size in the UNC, and uh, they also didn't have my size in the Georgetown as well. But there was an 11.5, so I decided to give it a shot, and it actually worked out really well. It's really, really snug, and um, it seemed alright, and it fit okay. Didn't bother my the width didn't bother me, the toe box didn't bother me, so decided to pick it up for ball course basketball performance only and uh, I won't be wearing this outside even though it looked all right definitely a lot better than the Jordan 28 with the shroud I was contemplating whether to wait for the mellow m10s they had the same bottom and um, but these were available so I picked them up let's get you guys some close-ups as you can see that is the lateral side you got carbon fiber plates along the bottom along the outrigger of your foot your arc as well as your ankle and there's jump man branding the traction is very very aggressive there's your flight plate along the midsection of your foot it is decoupled and um, there's a camel pattern along the traction as well here's another quick look really excited to try these out on court here's your dynamic fit system it is a, an internal booty. I will give you a shot of the shoes inside later on. The tongue is also very padded. Here's the look at the medial side. Here's a shot of the inside. As you can see right there, it is almost like a one piece. When I was trying to slide my foot in at Foot Locker, it actually took me a while. I assume it will open up over time. But the fit itself, whether you lace it up or not, is really secure. And of course, with the lacing, it is even better. Which pair of Jordan 28 do you prefer? With or without the shroud? I feel like a lot of people said they hated on them, but as soon as they tried it, they always sold out online. And uh, I definitely prefer the SE just because there's no shroud. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Keeping this video short, here's an on feet for you guys. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.